I just purchased leftovers from a storage unit that somebody was trying to get rid of and I'm gonna fly for this box. How much for like all of it? All of it? For the whole thing. Um. Plus, I get these things too. Can you have fun looking at it? I do 10. 10 on that and then. 10, 13. Do you know if this works? It does. It does. Yeah. Okay. 10, 13, 16, yep. 19. I'll just give you 20. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want to throw them in there. I'll take it. You're just looking to get rid of it. No. I sold my platinum necklace last year by accident. So oh. <laughs> Julie is a little sore spot with me right now. I might keep the 60. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, I maybe appreciate you'll it. Find something. Maybe you'll find something in there. Yeah, I'll have fun digging through it. Yeah. The cherry and mud bag is probably a you want this? Yeah? Sure. No, uh, no you, you can leave it there. That's All fine. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just see what's, what okay, that is. All right, it's the end of the day. Uh, it's been a pretty long day. Um, I'm a little tired. Dealing with a health issue right now, so it's making things uh, a little difficult to uh, to get things done. But... Let me show you what I picked up today at a couple of yard sales. I want to thank the Academy. Actually, th I just thought this was kind of cool. Um, I have no idea if it's worth anything, but I only paid a couple of bucks for it. And it's, it's got some weight to it. Don't really know what it is. I grabbed this Chia Tweety. Uh, I don't remember what I paid. It's a couple of bucks, but I saw a couple of... Uh, the Looney Tune style Chia Pets on eBay going for like 15 bucks. So I took a chance on that. Then I just grabbed a bunch of uh, comic books. Uh, I think there were three dollars. There was two packages of three dollars each. And I looked them all up on eBay. And one, at least one of them looks like it sells for around eight dollars on eBay. So I already made my money back there. My plan is to um, just keep buying, you know, the cheap comics like this and then make a big lot or lots and sell them off, uh, you know, like a $20 lot with like 100 comics, because they do sell like that. I picked up this Halloween uh, head dropper. I don't know what it's worth. I just thought it was kind of cool. Uh, I don't think it's brand new in the box, but I'll probably hang on to this for a while, obviously, until it gets closer to Halloween season, and then we'll see how it goes from there. And going on the Halloween theme, I got two of the same... Uh, looks like Dracula costumes. I think these are like a buck each and can probably sell them for like 10 bucks on eBay. I ended up getting, um, 
these. I love Lucy Collector's Edition, CVS Video Library. There's 15 of them in here, and I think I paid a dollar each for them. I don't, I don't really think that was a great buy. I just thought they were kind of cool and just the packaging. So I'm going to try to sell the whole lot of them um, all together. I don't know if I'm really going to make much money off them, but I just, I just kind of like them. And then I also got some one-off uh, VHS tapes. I got Rocky Howard Pictures Show, Going With The Wind, Scarface Casino, and E.T. Those are all pretty good sellers on eBay. And I grabbed this Emerson uh, small compact disc player radio uh, for $3. And these are selling around 15 or so on eBay, it looks like. I also, this lady was selling jewelry. Each piece was like $0.25, cents, $0.50. Cents. So I said, how much for the whole the whole lot that you have here she said 10 bucks so i took it all like the comic books my intention is to just make like a five pound bag of jewelry uh and put it up on ebay as a one big lot not knowing i'm not really gonna check i don't know anything about jewelry so i'm not gonna look into this stuff it's just that these things do sell on ebay believe it or not for pretty good money when you put all this stuff together um i don't I have no idea what this stuff you know Trio Toes Rings. I guess a toe ring. I have no idea what this is. But uh, I'll go through this and see what's in here. And it was raining out. And the stuff was at this yard sale was getting soaked. But I, I grabbed this set of just two of them. Betty Boop. I don't know if you can see it. Betty Boop uh, car floor mats. And there's two of them. And I paid a buck each for them. So I saw them on selling on eBay for around 15 20 bucks for two. Um, so I'm going to clean them up a little and try to get them up there. And then last but not least, so I bought that 1950s Monroe calculator and it sold. I spent $15 on it and it sold for $70 on eBay. So I went back to the people I bought it from because I knew they were selling a uh, a Burroughs check writer, a check writing machine. Uh, they were asking $30 for that. I offered it $15 and they took it. So I picked that up today. And here it is. I don't know what this one is worth or what it's going to go for but i mean the guy told me it still works i have no idea how this would how this works or what you're supposed to do with it i gotta take another look at it but at the very least i should be able to double my money using this thing How much is the bath mat? Uh, that's brand new. How about three bucks? You do two? Two dollars? Nah, it's, it's... Good morning. Good morning. It's, it's brand new. It's okay, I, I'll it's probably take it. I'm just, I'll probably take it. I'll just leave it there for now. I'll give you the yeah, no, I understand. Bucks. Thank you. Okay. Would you want to buy the whole thing? No, no. Okay, they're all got in the place. Oh, yeah. She had to close down. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so, gift change. Yeah. So. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Good luck. Excuse me.
I'll take those. What do we two. have tagged on the gun? I know that was eight. No. I think it's five. Five. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. What's your tag on your tail? Rhode Island Picker. Perfect. Let's Check go. it out. It's brand new. But it's uh, it's doing pretty well. You're going all over the city, all over the state. Yeah, I just Matt. There's a yard sale app called uh, Yard Sale Treasure Map. Okay. And it it can it'll route the easiest. So there, you just go just, route it out and yeah. then go one to one. That's cool. cool Thanks. Man. Thank All right, we got two orders that have to go out, so let's grab those. First one is this uh, antique Hotchkiss uh, stapler. I screwed up on this. I meant to put this as a buy it now, and it went as a uh, an auction on eBay, and I lost a little. I lost about five bucks on this. Not a big deal. On uh, and also these remote controls that I paid a dollar for the bag. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. So those have to go out. All right, so it's Saturday and it was an awesome, awesome day. Uh, it's a little after 2 p.m. I got started at 7 a.m. this morning, the first yard sale. Uh, I think I hit around 20 yard sales today and I probably would have hit 25, but I, I have to say this first. If you're having a yard sale and you know you put the ad online and you end up canceling it, Please cancel the ads because it just saves us a lot of time. I went to like five houses. There was nobody there. No sign of any kind of yard sale or garage sale going on. Uh, and also, if you had a yard sale previously, like a week before or even a month before, cancel the ads because they come up in the search. All right, so let's go. I'm not going to go in order just because everything I have here is scattered around. So let's get started. So I picked up uh, these Xbox games. They were 50 cents each. Um, you know, they're older games, but sell them as a lot on eBay. Um, I might just collect a bunch more and then make big lots and make a little bit of money on those. At, this, at the same yard sale, I picked this sauna suit up, uh, brand new in the box. I think this was $3. Or was it $2? I don't know. The whole thing was $4 here. Oh, this is a dollar actually. So these were three, this was one. So four dollars total and this is selling on eBay around 15 to 20 dollars new Couldn't pass that up The first yard sale I went to I picked up this rubber bath mat uh, brand new For I think it was three dollars and they're selling on eBay around 15 to 20. So grab this uh, brand new An old camper lives here with the flame of his life um, Just a little sign. Uh, this was a buck. So Maybe I get $5 out of it. I don't know. Who knows? I, I, I haven't really looked this up yet. Picked up this DVD wall mount for $8. And the comps on eBay uh, are right around $15 to $20. So not a ton of money to make on this, but still good enough. It was brand new. Still in the box. Um, you know, hasn't been opened. So should do okay on that. And then at that same yard sale, I got this for $5. bucks. Uh, it's kind of a ball game it looks like it's missing it might be missing a ball or maybe yeah i think it's missing a tennis ball but if i find one i can throw it in there if not it's still pretty new uh five dollars and they're selling for like it looked like 20 bucks on ebay then at this uh the next yard sale uh i've got this dr althea multi-water drop pack gel brand new um for two dollars i'm not even sure what this is but it's never been used and i looked it up on ebay and it's selling for like 12 to 15 and these here were a dollar each and this thing was selling for like anywhere from 12 to 20 on ebay and this bath salt hibiscus a dollar this was selling around 12.99 or so on ebay brand new then at that same yard sale i got this paintball gun um 
the guy said it still works he was looking for the other parts he couldn't find them uh, I really don't know anything about this but it was five bucks and he said this has the turbo trigger or something on it and I gotta look it up but I should be able to get decent money out of this thing if anybody knows anything about this it's a spider spider Electra digital LED e marker yeah I don't know he said it works works fine so for five bucks took a chance on it so I got this big bag of jewelry for ten bucks um, if you remember I did another bag it's right over here I bought all this for ten bucks and I put it in a bag so I'm gonna it's a five pound I haven't weighed it yet but I think it's around five pounds so I'm gonna sell in this whole thing it's like costume jewelry and all kinds of stuff like that uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna start another bag and these things sell believe it or not on eBay for around anywhere from 40 to 60 bucks for the bag it was at this other sale and they had this book that kind of uh, I was kind of wondering about the world of Korea and Ives King Davis now the outside doesn't look all that anything special but when I when I started looking at it I'm gonna end up dropping something here um, it's in really good condition I don't know how old it is I gotta see if there's a uh, date but the pages here we go uh, it says first printing published by Random House in New York and in Canada Library of Congress catalog I'm gonna have to look this up because this might be worth something I think I paid this was part of a, a lot that I got for 25 bucks so I'll show you the other stuff but I really, if anybody knows anything about this, um, there are some really, really cool pictures in here. And stories and, and very interesting stuff. Yeah, see, I told you I was going to drop something. All right, so this was also in the $25 deal. It's a Stroh's Bear uh, Light. The guy said it works. I didn't get to try it at his house. Um, I'm assuming that it works. He had a lot of cool antique stuff. That it would, he seemed to really be into the stuff so this was part of the deal too and then also part of that $25 deal was just this lot of um, Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars I don't know if any of these are worth anything uh, my idea is to just put a big lot of these cars up on eBay and just see um, you know, this is a Hot Wheel I'm just gonna sell it as a most likely 1975 Sell this stuff is a, a big lot unless I come across um, this 1974 if I come across anything that might be worth something I'll pull it out of there and um, sell it on its own but some of these things are pretty old this is 77 I'm gonna have to go through this but 25 bucks for this the Stroh's Bears uh, light and in that big book that wasn't bad uh, another sale I ended up getting all this CBD stuff brand new in the box and she said that they're not used said yes yeah, see, it still has the seals on it expire in 2021 so that's good I got the whole this whole thing for I think it was 11 bucks she made me a deal I might keep this one but when I looked these up on eBay uh, they were each one of these was selling for like six, seven, all the way up to 20 bucks um, each. There's different, different kind of, come on, relaxing bath duo, bath salts and bath confetti. Confetti. Okay, then I, I ended up getting this Spider-Man uh, framed, I don't know what you call it. I think they call it a comic wall, Marvel comic wall. It came off of the frame, but I can easily fix that. This was two bucks. I don't think I'm gonna get much money out of this, if anything. If it doesn't sell, I, I'll hang it on my wall. It's, I kind of like it. Okay, then I met this, I, I was just driving down the road and this older guy, a couple of guys were at their house and they had, um, they had their stuff out. This guy had a lot of older uh, sports things. And this right here, is a bunch of little league yeah little league i think they're little league world series pins where so when he told me when the teams go to the little league world series they had their own pins made up and then they out they trade them with each other but this box was 10 bucks for whatever is in here i mean this that's a cool one 2009 cooperstown it has a kid's name 
Connoyer. Yankee Scoopastown. I don't think that was a little league one, but there's a lot of uh, Hawks. 2008 Santa Clarita Dirt Dogs. I thought this is it says Cooperstown, so I thought the Little League World Series was in uh, Williamsport. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, I'm gonna look into these more. Um, like I said, the box was ten bucks, and then that same guy, um, I bought this for five bucks. It's it's a vintage Cub Scouts. Boy Scouts of America pennant. He's got a little damage here, but this is perfect for uh, anyone that collects the Cub Scout or Boy Scout stuff and also collects vintage pennants. Then I picked up this Ted Williams Moxie Soda uh, tin sign. This was five bucks too. Uh, comps on eBay were running around 10 to 20. I just thought it was pretty cool. It was in decent condition. I don't think it's that old. And then also from that guy, uh, this thing of matchbox cars. So this this will go hand in hand with the other lot of uh, Hot Wheels and matchbox that I bought. This is Mattel made this Chevy Impala, uh, 1998. These are these are probably older, uh, newer I mean, than the other stuff. These don't feel as as heavy, I should say, um, as the other stuff. So this will go. This is Matchbox 1999. There's that, and then it's got a cool case with it too. So the guy said the money, some of the money was going towards helping. Um, I don't know if he said the Boy Scouts or something like that. So 1990, a lot of them are 1999. But this was, I believe this was five, five or ten. I j I didn't care. I just wanted to help the guy out. All right, these are cool. So at my last stop, actually my next to last stop, my last stop, uh, I don't think I brought it in. So I think this is my last stop, but this is a really cool, this lady made these things. Um, out of, they're, they're metal and it's just be, you know, for the motorcycle enthusiast or whatever, someone named Ronnie that rides a motorcycle. Um, I, think, uh, I think I paid, there's this one and then there's, this bear one, Ronnie again. I think her husband's name might be Ronnie. But I think these were, I think I paid $10 each because she gave me um, a great deal on what you're gonna see next. There's a bunch of clocks. Now don't don't mind the pizza. That, that'll that come off and there's, a, there's an actual real clock underneath there. So I got six of these clocks. And you might be thinking, why do you have six of those plain clocks? Well. As you can see, I can make whatever kind I want. These can be painted. This whole thing with all the clocks, there's six of them, uh, was 20 bucks. And what's cool about this, besides the red, the blue, is a plain guitar one. You can see, you can see that. There's a guitar one, there's a teal, and then there are two more guitar things you just mount the clocks onto them they screw on there's a red one and a black one so this was uh 20 bucks for all six of these plus the six clocks i don't know what i'm going to get out of them um i'm probably going to keep the guitar at least one of the guitar ones i might have my kids paint the white one some kind of design whatever they want and i will keep those okay now we're moving on to what i think was the best stop that I made today so first but right here these are brand new uh, soft white LED lights I got four boxes of them with four bulbs in each one uh, they were a dollar each on eBay these things each one is selling for like 10 so if I sold the whole set of four I'm not gonna sell them at 40 bucks I'll probably can get put 30 on them and they should sell right away. Then I did so well with that Rosetta Stone Spanish, I had to get the Rosetta Stone German. This was a dollar. Um, this is version four. I believe everything's in there, so this is a dollar, and I think I can get maybe $20 out of this on eBay. Also, remember what I said about remotes. This is a an Xbox remote. I really don't know if this is gonna really fetch any money, but 
I'm doing well with the remote, so this this does the DVDs too on the Xbox. Then I grabbed this uh, on cassette recorder, built-in microphone, and one-touch recording. This was a dollar also, and on eBay, I think it's like fourteen ninety-nine to twenty bucks. I grabbed this Bose power cord. Um, it's missing the, the part that plugs in and plugs into the wall, but if anybody is looking for this, it's a switching power supply. Uh, I'll put the model number on it. This was a buck. A lot of people lose their power supplies and they like the branded stuff. So for a dollar, I'm gonna see how much these are going for, and I probably can get a few dollars out of that. There was this really old uh, book, A Short Constitutional History of England. It says published 1895. I don't know if that's the actual year on it um, this one says 1882 no but if it says published 1885 I'm thinking it was published in 1885 on 19 yeah is that right 18 did I say 1885 1895 sorry for such an old book it was in decent shape and it was worth the risk that same place I got this Black Panther uh, I guess it protects the you know, it's shade for your car and there were, there's six in here brand new um, he gave me all six for five bucks and I think these are selling for like $14.99 each on eBay couldn't pass those up uh, I got two of these sports talk player um, for a dollar each and when I looked these up on eBay they were selling for like I think it was like $14.99 on these and these these look like they're pretty new I didn't open them I don't know what kind of condition they're in well they're taped so I don't I really don't want to and then last but not least I got this the box is beat to hell but this moon explorer battery operated toy I don't know if it works, I'm gonna to try to clean this up. But when I look this up, it's missing the the back battery door. Um, I don't think it's in the box. When I look this up on eBay, um, some that were you know in really good condition were well over a hundred dollars. So I don't know. This was five dollars. I took a chance on it because I I could have sworn I saw this on Porn Stars or something similar to this. So that's why it caught my eye. I saw the box. And I don't know what year. The box might have something about the year on it. Made in Hong Kong. I don't see any year stamps on it. Anyway, I'm going to look that up because there's a small chance that this thing is worth um, a lot more than the $5 I paid for. It. So that's it for today. I had to stop. Um, I'm dealing with a hernia right now. Uh, when I mentioned earlier some health uh, issues. I gotta have surgery in a couple of weeks so I was feeling fine all day you know just moving around driving sitting down is fine but when I stop standing and walking just normal movements that's when it really starts to hurt so all day I was fine because I was you know look at the yacht I was there for like five ten minutes and I get back in the car and drive and I was okay but now that I'm home uh, and I'm moving around in here the pain is coming so I think I'm done for today. Uh, tomorrow, I'm only gonna, I may hit a couple on Sunday, a couple of yard sales. I have someone coming, uh, hopefully, to buy my couch that's in here because I really need the room, the space. I did buy this uh, storage unit thing here from the lady that gave me the clocks. Uh, this was a dollar because I, I got to stop putting, labeling everything and putting it um, so I know where things are. And I have, if you, you want to look, All this stuff here has to get listed still. I got a lot of work ahead of me this week. Um, I'm hoping that this hernia is going to cooperate. It's just a matter of taking the what it is is taking the photos and then moving over it, weighing it, finding out you know the size of dimensions for the shipping, how much the shipping is going to be. So it's kind of back and forth motion, um, but I can't wait to get this thing fixed because it's a pain in you know what. It doesn't help that I do landscaping too, so um, luckily I'm slow with that right now. But that's it uh, for today. 
Uh, let me know if you got yard sales. If you know any information on any of the stuff that I've been finding that could help me out you know, with research, please let me know. Um, I'm going to stop putting my eBay store URL um, on my videos once I figure out what it is. eBay's kind of weird with that. I thought it was just my eBay username is Rhode Island P. I couldn't put picker because they wouldn't let me. So um, when I put that in, um, stores.ebay.com forward slash Rhode Island P, nothing comes up. So I got to figure out what the actual URL is. But Good Sunday morning. Uh, it's 7 a.m. up nice and early again. Um, I decided I'm only going to go to a couple of stops, maybe two, three, three, four um, today. And because I really need to get listing all that stuff I got over the past few days onto eBay. Um, so right now I'm going to, I'm hoping they're open because I, I went last week and there was nobody there. This is a flea market in Johnston on Plainfield Pike. Supposedly it's every Sunday weather permitting and it's beautiful out right now. Uh, it starts at 7 a.m. And I should get there in about 15 minutes or so. Uh, I don't know what to expect here. I don't know if these are people having like sort of a yard sale at a flea market or if they're going to be charging, you know, uh, antique store prices for this stuff. So uh, I guess I'm going to find out. Like I said, I'm going to be there in a few minutes and uh, I'll get the GoPro going and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's Sunday night after dinner and um, the weekend took a crazy turn. So what I'm about to show you is kind of overwhelming. Um, I just purchased leftovers from a storage unit that somebody was trying to get rid of. Couldn't really tell, I mean, it was a really good price. It was a, a lot of stuff. I had two truckloads. I had no, I had to go back. It was a half hour drive each way and had to go back t twice. But I'm gonna start showing you exactly how much stuff there is there's a whole box of baseball cards star trek uh the series on vhs the box is full this right here is all baseball cards sports cards this has baseball stuff in it assorted little figures now we're gonna head outside
So right here, what you're looking at <laughs> is half of the stuff. Um, I covered it because I have to make room in the studio for everything, but there is a ton of stuff under here that I have to go through. A lot of it's going to be junk, but there's a lot of good stuff from what I could see. Here's my car on my truck. It, this is the back seat. It goes all the way to the other side. Here's the passenger seat. It just like I said, overwhelming. Here was the uh, the other side of uh, the back seat. Here's the back of the truck. This is all the way to the back, or uh, the front, I should say. Uh, I most likely can't see it, but there's boxes and bins all the way. So I have a lot of work to do. Um, I have someone who just came that bought the couch that I have in the studio. And it's right here. They went to rent a U-Haul truck and they're coming back to pick that up because I really, really need the space in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. The stuff that's in the truck is going to stay in the truck for the time being. I don't have really anywhere to go the next couple of days. I'm going to be in here working for the most part. Um, once this couch is gone, then I'm going to bring another um, folding fold-out table going through all this stuff like all the cards and all the little things I'm gonna bring into the house and just kind of go through them to see if there's any you know diamonds in the rough that I I can't see um, I also went to that flea market this morning and I ended up getting nothing major I got this rechargeable corkscrew for five bucks uh, there's a book in here yeah aviation yearbook 1977 it was two dollars um, it looks like it's selling around ten to fifteen dollars on eBay I got uh, that was yesterday you, you guys already saw that I, I got these two hats for five bucks total brand new Harley Davidson and a brown Yankees hat so that's what I'm gonna be doing I, I think I'm gonna be um, probably not gonna be going to any yard sales for the foreseeable future um, I gotta take it easy anyway with the with what I have going on as far as the medical stuff uh, probably for about three to four weeks anyway so this is kind of perfect for me to just come in here and just start listing stuff and organizing and um, getting more shelving units and getting more bins. I, bought, I did buy three more bins today. Don't even know where they are at this point. So everybody, hope your weekend was good. Mine was crazy. And uh, I'll get a new video up as soon as I can get a handle on all this stuff. And I, I got to remember too, I have a baby grand piano coming into this studio. And it's supposed to go there. And that's coming in uh, in six days, Saturday, being delivered. I don't know what I'm going to do, um, but I'll figure something out. Everybody have a good week, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.